Hey guys, how you doing? It's Will from ActorTap and I'm going to do a full review of Clean Line Mac. Now, this application is reasonably good. Um, as you know, might know, I previously recorded a video about MacKeeper, um, but now I'm moving on to another application called Clean Line Mac, as I just said. Um, it's very easy to use, it's very um, useful, um, and very, very good to clean any rubbish that you have on your com um, computer system. Um, as you can see in the top here, you have your scan and your preferences and also your help. Preferences just have um, what you want to basically use it for. So if you're general, um, you're automatic. So if you want to use it, um, uh, whatever application. So you've got your different themes like marble, like so. So it can be different. Um, I wouldn't mind it to be um, upgraded to different themes. Um, so like you know you have your own personal sort of theme sort of thing. But hopefully there'll be another um, update. And of course, privacy, of course, uh, share system information. So that's basically I showed you a second ago where you can share it against Twitter or Facebook. Um, and down here, you got your updates. Um, and of course, the update to beta version as well. So there's like um, a testing one that I'll send out to you as well. Uh, and help, which is basically a bit of information or a bit of knowledge you want to know, um, is all in here. Um, so it's all good. And enough down here, you have your, um, your scanner system sort of thing. With your cache, your logs, your language files, your universal binaries, system junk, uh, trash, and leftovers. Um, and down here in utilities, you have your manage extensions. So you have different priorities of different things like widgets, preferences, and plugins. Um, and still applications. So you know when you delete an application, just drag it into your trash. Um, that be quite that be kind of bad. Um, only because it only deletes the app, not all the leftover stuff. Um, but if you dig into this here, you'll actually delete all the um, information that it needs um, and it will be gone from the whole system. Uh, of course, same here as well as um, if you have a file with multiple um, different things in it and you can't find them all, then you just drag the file in here and it will erase all of it and it won't be on your system anymore. So it's very easy to use and very um, you know, uh, manageable to control. Um, and on the side here as well, you have your tick boxes. So if you don't want the caches to be um, checked, you can tick that uh, like so. Uh, and you can go back to it if you want to by ticking it again like so. Um, it's very easy just to scan. All you have to do is press scan and it will scan this whole system. And that will take a little bit of a while. Only because I'm running a screen flow um, and that takes up most of the um, RAM. And of course, it won't be as fast as it wants to be. But anyway, once it's finished, it'll give you the um, uh, sort of found sort of like gigabytes or me megabytes. Um, note yourself that when you first do this application, like when you first install it and uh, run it through, um, I found out that I had like 10 gigabyte of rubbish um, and system junk as well, and that was kind of a kind of a surprise, really, to be honest. But anyway, um, as you can see here, you have your welcome screen. Um, so you have your last scans today. Uh, and also uh, total space recovered, 9 gigabyte. Um, and of course here you can share results, so basically you can go on to the website and you can tweet or share on Facebook. So it's really good fun and very, very useful um, if you want to basically make your system more faster and a bit more responsive. Anyway guys, that's a full review of Clean My Mac and I totally recommend it for anyone who wants to use this. To actually, you know, basically, just like um, make a Mac more faster, and plus to um, erase any files or applications that um, that need to be removed. But anyway, have a good day, people, and I'll be back tomorrow with a new video, hopefully. But anyway, thank you so much, and I'll see you soon.